Okay, guys, I thought I can bring you now the new project. The project is pretty simple. It's about the foiling monohull. The foiling monohull is based about the Mini 80 hull I just made, um, where you have seen on the last video the mold. And now I have made, or I'm about to make the mold for the deck. I'm about to show you now. This is the deck, pretty simple. Um, here is a big, big open surface with about two centimeters height. Um, so I can run either a single rudder or a double rudder system. This is going to be a big, big hatch where I can mount those servos or even triple servo setup and easily reach with my big hand inside. This post is used for mounting the keel system, which later gets a recess and I can send flush so the keel will stick out and I can just lengthwise. This is a pretty sneak little thing. Um, here will be mounted two foils which will go out around like that, up and down, uh, like you have seen on the uh, Figaro's. The mast position is not defined yet because I thought about maybe a sliding mast or sliding mast in the forward aft position. Same says for the first day, um, there's no fixed position yet and I have due to this shape a lot of rigidity without a lot of weight. That's basically it for the deck. And now some thoughts for the hull. It needs to be light, it needs to be stiff, and it needs to be foiling compatible. Next step is for building the boat. It needs to be simple. And that's it. It needs to be simple. What I like about model boats is that you can adjust what you think, you can adjust what you thought and what everyone else wants to do with a boat. So my plan with this boat is so that you can have as many ideas as possible to make the boat as fast as possible. That's why I have not decided about single rudder or double rudder. Whoever thinks which is faster goes with what he thinks is faster. Same goes for the foils. This foil box is the only thing I will um, define and everyone else can adjust their foils however they want to have their foils. This is what we can see already on the Emokas which will start in a few days around the world. That everyone is developing different shapes and different designs due to different thoughts and different experiences. My plan is to have this boat easy to ship and simple to ship for everyone uh, available, so you can build your own one pretty, pretty cheap. The all-around dimensions are around about 80 centimeters from the transom to the bow and around about 40 centimeters from left to right, um, maybe 35 centimeters, something like that. Uh, for the foils, I think we can go way around here, so that's a handspan from each side on top of that. I think for mounting, uh, I will just use some simple screws, four screws on here, and the laminate from the deck gets a little cushion made out of wood or foam, so you can screw it straight into the deck. It's easy to repair, it's simple, and everyone can mount their foils, whatever they want and how they want. And for everyone who's still with me, this is just a simple printed PLA mold for the deck. I printed it out of eight parts, which are simply glued together with some CA glue. And I made the mistake that I have no adjustability on the edges or corners, so I had to do quite a lot of sanding and fairing. I did the fairing with this brownish reddish uh, putty, and then I took off with this um, gray filler. The gray filler needs to be sanded, this is still unsanded yet, and you can see all these edges need some touch up. Uh, everything which is not shiny is already sanded, so we're not so far from done. 
last but not least, I have to mention that this deck is supposed to use a ballast system either in the inside from a server which will be mounted around about here under the deck, which moves a weight like that. Next system would be a servo mounted around about here with a long arm going like that and moving outwards. And the third version would be a um, moving point round about here, a servo round about here, and a long arm over the end, uh, over the transom of the boat, way out to either side. Um, let's see what will be the final decision. Um, I'm curious what you think about, and if you have any thoughts, recommendations, or inspiration, let me know in the comment section. Feel free to like this video, that encouraged me to do some more, otherwise I will build for myself. Goodbye and have a nice evening.